Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna show you how to call the J9 function in the Android Studio. For doing that, you need to check if your Java H, your Java H can call in any location in your computer and also the NDK build.cmd can call from any location in your computer if it is so we are ready for this project also we need to install the Android Studio of course we need to install Android Studio and the NDK newest version in this computer I use Android Studio 2.1 and NDK 12 okay so let's start with a new project called the NDK test hit next choose the empty activity and finish we need to wait several minutes for compiling greater at the first time so here is the project we are created right click on the your domain and select java new java class let's say native class okay so in this native class we will define a jni function public native static static string and call get uh, message from JNI after defining the function in the native class we need to build the project again so I'll show you switch to the tab project tab project and go into the app build intermediates and you see here there is no classes generated by uh, Android Studio so let's view it and see Yeah, the class is already automatically generated by Android Studio. So if we check in the classes, debug, com, and here, the native classes already generated. This is very important for creating a header file uh, for JNI function. So, okay. Go into the terminal. Switch to the main folder. S app slash scr slash main. app app scr cd app yeah, cd s r c main yeah and call the java h d and create a GNI folder and class path 
go outside to the build folder and here build folder and intermediate we specify to the classes that was uh, generated by Android Studio before classes and debug and here we copy the name of the domain dot native class enter so the header file was successfully created let's check it in the main and j9 see here so just copy the header file and paste to the same folder to the same j9 folder and change is a cpp file so in the cpp file we delete all the thing in here and in here just include our new created header file yeah I have header file in here so here we have to specify the object the pointer of the JNI environment env and the object and just uh, return a string E N V new string U T F. This is a message from J N I. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create a Android make file. Wait. Now we try to build the project again. If and see if it has any problem. Okay. There is one problem in here. We need to set Android use deprecate and k is equal to true in the in the property greater property here. Android use deprecate deprecated and the K is equal to true. Okay, and view it again. Now it should be built without any error. Oh. E and V, sorry. E and V. It should be built successfully without any error. Okay, we, so we have no error in here. We are ready for the next step. In the JNI folder, let's create a new Android make file. Android dot mk and just copy and paste here so first you need to specify the local path which is the path we are working on we call call my dear 
and then we clear all the variable except the local path and we need to specify our source file which we need to build using NDK in here in this uh, project the cpp file we need to build using NDK is this one so let's copy the name of cpp file and put it in here okay and here we also need to define a local model so I call this is my lips my lips okay and we build the library the share library and the next thing we need to do is create an application make file dot mk dot mk okay so we need to copy some something to here so don't be worried i will put this file in the description so you can copy very easily so here we we will define an api app abi for just uh, arm ebi v7a cpu structure and the last thing we need to say to tell the ndk um, where which folder to build and go so in order to do that you go to the view grader view grader yeah view grader in the app view grader and before the build type view type copy the ndk in here ndk and put to, to the view grader and in here you just need to change the, the directory in here in the command line which is uh, specify the ndk build location and ndk build cmd location so in my computer just in my computer and almost other computer you just need to change this user cv lab and that's all let's view it and see if it has any error <coughs> if there is no error we should should see the lib file yeah lib folder created let's check okay so we have jni lib and here we specify to build with this cpu structure and our lib file share lib file is mylib.so and some uh, prefix lib edit automatically in your uh, lib file name so let's call that function go to the main activity go to the main activity uh, layout just delete this this line and add the id call text view okay and in the main activity dot java we need to uh, we need to 
load first we need to load our library this library system dot load library and specify the library without lib without lib prefix just my libs okay and in here just binding the text view and call the function it's okay okay i i do is uh, like this five view by id r dot id dot text view and set text here we need to specify first the name of class which is a na native class and get message from jni okay so let's view it and run it on the actual device here i have already have the I already have the Samsung S5 connected with my computer. So I will run it. And I will see I will see if the message display on our screen. Okay, so here we are. We have this is message from JNI, which is uh, we wrote in the JNI function. So this is very uh, simple function, but very important if you want to call the native, write the native function and call it in the Java. Uh, programming so thank you for watching if you don't subscribe please consider subscribing it